So today is a bit of an exciting day. We're heading up to the Adirondacks for the first time since completing the truck bed build. Uh, we're not going to be doing one of the 46 high peaks. We're going to be doing a different challenge, a challenge I found. I'll link to that in the description. It is the ADK9 challenge. It's nine dog-friendly hikes in the Adirondacks. When you complete them, you get to uh, you get to submit your name, and I think you get a little patch, a little sticker. Um, so it's something that me and Paisley can share together. So that's what I've chosen to be our first overnight in the Adirondacks. We're also going to be meeting up a good friend. His name's Joe. He's my old college roommate. He's a very good photographer, and uh, he's going to be up there taking photos for the next few days. We're going to cook a good meal together, share some laughs, and uh, make some good memories. So that is today. Uh, I did a little bit of packing last night and I got everything situated. I think I have everything we need. I got water for like a month, even though we're going up for a day. I kind of wanted to be over cautious with a dog, especially since we'll be hiking. Um, I got a coffee in the car and we are ready to get driving. Let's hit the road and let's get up to the Adirondacks. Uh, there's not a single thing in this video that's sponsored. I think that comes uh, pretty blatantly, but. Hey, right, right, left. There it is. Peace. You ready to go in the Adirondacks? We got a little bit of a tail wag. All right, here we go. Ever come up to the Adirondacks from uh, like Buffalo, Rochester area? You're definitely familiar with this little sleepy town. First off, I don't know if you could read that, but BJ Queen, that's a thing. Maybe chose an easier one. 
the first hike of the year because this one's kind of kicking my butt. Alright, so we're about to make our summit push. So summit snacks, gentle, 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 gentle. Oh, that's a good girl. There we go. It's home, off in the distance. Okay. My dog poop, dog poop trick. Works surprisingly well. All right, we got our dog poop. We got our dog. All right, so we have our first 80K9 hike done in the books. We got a passed out Paisley back here. She's tuckered out. Uh, got her cleaned up. The hike's done. It was an amazing hike. Uh, much better than I was expecting. And I know why they call it Castle Rock. Those castles at the top of that mountain are gigantic. Originally thought I was at the top of it. Didn't really have much of a view. It was kind of let down. Went to the back side of it. But we spent a little bit of time on the summit seeking out all the different views that you get. You worked hard to get there. I always rush myself when I'm up there, so I have to tell myself to take my time and, and take a look out and see what there is on all different sides of the mountain. And it was a beautiful view of Blue, Blue Lake. I think it's actually Eagle Lake, but it's Blue Mountain Lake. It's the area. Um, I'll have to look at it on a map, but an awesome hike. Paisley crushed it. We got that out of the way. Now we're gonna go meet up Joe. We're gonna settle in, make a game plan for tonight. We have dinner, so we'll cook it whenever we want. We'll work on doing that, and uh, yeah, hikes out of the, hikes done. I don't want to say out of the way, but we experienced the hike. What an awesome hike it was! And now we're we're switching uh, switching spots. We're heading further north into the Adirondacks, we're right in the middle of the Adirondack Park right now, and we're heading to the High Peak area, uh, heading north. We just passed through Long Lake. Now we'll go through Tupper Lake, and then that'll feed us into beautiful Saranac Lake just outside of Lake Placid. So that's where we're headed. We'll take you on that journey. All right, so we are post-hike. Uh, we are now going to try to figure out what we're gonna do as far as a campsite for tonight. I don't know if we're gonna do a, uh, a paying or a, a paid campsite or if we're gonna do one of the primitive campsites up here. Um, we talked about trying to give the primitive campsites the, an attempt because we both wanted to try them but we have never done them so we might try that also stopped at Norris in Saranac Lake if you've ever been up to Saranac Lake you know what Norris is phenomenal food good local healthy grocer and also have phenomenal cold beer so I went fancy with the cream it was a vanilla soy something um, 
really good. Would recommend it. So now we're waiting in, uh, well, it's called Grand Union now. I think Tops closed their location up here. It used to be the Tops in Saranac Lake, but we're just hanging out. He's just awoke from her post-hike slumber. And now we're waiting to figure out what we're gonna do. We found Joe and we came over the plan. We are gonna head over to the Chapel Ponds campground area that is in Keene. So we got a little bit of a drive ahead of us. That should bring us to right about five o'clock. We're thinking of just settling in, taking it easy tonight. Cooking a dinner and laying low. So heading through Saranac Lake, through Lake Placid, and we are going to go into Keene Valley. For those of you familiar with the area, I've seen the site a handful of times, but for those unfamiliar, this is the site of the 1980s Olympic high jump, long jump. This is Cascade and Porter. It's easily accessible, a short hike, and this trail is actually ending. They're discontinuing this trail in the future. And I think we got enough driving footage, but this is also one of my favorite places. We had Hazel swim down here in the fall last year. She had an absolute blast.
All right, just summited Baxter. I like that one a lot. Easy hiking. Uh, bugs are not biting, but they're getting you if you stop walking. Um, it took us about 28 minutes to make the summit from the trailhead over off a of nine north. We're gonna find a little outcrop here, a little lookout, and give Pace some water. Go ahead, Pace. See if we can't settle into a nice spot. The road trip food right here. Ooh, uh, no sleepy pee. We did another hike this morning. Uh, this morning we headed out and did uh, Baxter Mountain. Awesome mountain. Now we're heading back. So we're taking the scenic ride. We're going all through the Adirondack Park all the way back to Utica. We're kind of squiggling. Not the most efficient, but definitely worth it extra minutes to have a different view of that around deck park we're back on the 90. all right so we're back close to being home and this bee berry back there is still snoozing she is just tuckered out from a weekend of fun i also want to point out my documented proof that is Pace's poop bag and i've made it all the way from baxter mountain in king valley home so my windshield wiper trick as long as it's not raining does work. 